currently running late for a doctor's appointment for Hudson. Um, I say running late. I'm just running later than what I wanted to be running. Um, the office opens at 8 and Dante has to work at 12. So I really wanted to already have been there. But it is 8 o'clock now and that didn't happen because life with a toddler, two toddlers and a newborn. Um, so I'm still going to stop and get something to eat though because <laughs> your girl is hungry. But we have to go take him to a walk-in clinic. So it's not like we have like an actual appointment time because we need to get a referral for a pediatrician. So they're a pediatrician, but apparently he won't see them without a, a, a referral, which I don't remember having to do for Cohen or I would have already done. Um, anyways, we have to go get a referral for the pediatrician, but also hopefully they're going to be able to do their weight check. The hospital told me that um, any walk-in clinic should do it as long as they have one of the baby scales. So I'm hopeful that we can do that today as well because we haven't like he hasn't seen a doctor since the 13th oh my god the lighting is so bad i'm so sorry but we haven't seen a doctor since the 13th it is the 18th now and they wanted me to see him in a couple days but walk-in clinics were closed because it was the weekend and um now is the first time that we're having a chance to be able to do it i'm really hoping that this place doesn't fill up super fast because it's known to fill up super fast but it's also the only place that I know that has like the scale or that I've been told has the scale for babies. So I'm just praying that they can get him in and they can do it because we need to know if the little dude is gaining weight properly. All right, little sir, we're here. Let's go see if you gain some weight. <laughs> so chunky, guys. Oh my God, you're so cute. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go see if you gain some weight. I look rough, I know. I literally spent the last 10 minutes sitting outside of the walk-in clinic crying because apparently they can't do the referral without the papers from the hospital, which totally makes sense. But I asked if they could still do the weight check because that's what he needs. And they told me that they still needed those papers, which I should have known it's not the walk-in clinic's fault. It's just, I'm super stressed over it because he needs to have his weight check. When I was at the hospital, they told me like, they told me I could take him to my family doctor. My family doctor just retired. So he needs a pediatrician or someone to be able to do it. So because of that, they told me that I could just go to a walk-in clinic, like walk in like every other person and get like seen or whatever else. And they told me they could do it that way. So I didn't think I needed the papers. And apparently I need the discharge papers. So that had me super stressed. Dante's supposed to work at 12, which is why I went in early. He still has to eat. He didn't eat at seven o'clock when I woke up to like be early or whatever else. He hasn't eaten. He needs to eat. Dante has to go to work. The whole thing, like I'm so stressed about the whole thing because he needs to have his weight checked done because he lost weight twice since coming home from the hospital. So he lost weight. He was seven pounds, eight ounces. I think it was 3,400 grams, I think is what they measured it in. I don't know, my brain's confuzzled right now, but it was 3,400 and then went down to like 3,200 and they're like, okay, that's okay. And then when he went for his jaundice, his weight was only like 31 something. So it kept going down. So I need to have this weight check done to make sure he's gaining weight properly or we need to like supplement or something because he needs to be gaining weight. So the whole thing has me really stressed. So I'm just gonna try, take a breath go in the house worst case scenario i know dante is just gonna be late for work because that's what it is but it's just like so stupid because he shouldn't have to be late for work because i went in early like i said it's not the walk-in clinic's fault it's mine i should have brought the papers i just didn't know i needed to because jackson was um referred from the hospital and so was cohen because he was in the nicu so they were both preferred for the hospital so I never actually had to go and get a referral for them and this time the hospital didn't refer him <sighs> I'm just really stressed out about it so I'm gonna try and go in the house just feed him he's just chilling back there but I'm wasting time now I'm just gonna go feed him we got him fed and changed and now I just have to get him back in the car seat to take him back to the hospital it's not a hospital, it's a walk-in clinic. My brain's mush. I did end up going to a different office. I have the paperwork with me just in case we need it. But let's go try this again, huh, little dude?
so we're home now and i'm definitely super frustrated oh hi bubba look at you with your strong head hmm? hey, i'm definitely a little bit more frustrated because they didn't even yeah. need the papers like the discharge papers so it was just like it that's exactly how i thought it was going to be like i went in there they asked me his birth weight and then they asked me the way to discharge and then they just did like his check it doesn't really matter because he's doing great and that's fine but it definitely made this morning super stressful because i picked that place oh i'm sorry Bubba. i picked that place specifically because they opened early enough for dante to be able to go to work on time and he still ended up being late so that was a little bit annoying um but it's all fine now he's a little cranky <laughs> Why are we cranky? Yeah, he's a little cranky. Jackson's awake. He's over here chilling. Hi, buddy. Hi. Are you putting your toys in the timbit box? Yeah. Oh, why? I don't. Just because? Yeah. Okay. We're definitely all still in our pajamas. Well, like the kids are. Um, Jackson and Cohen. What, honey? Nuggie's awake. Nuggie is awake, yeah. How could you get that? How'd you get what? Oh my goodness. Cohen's down for a nap. We've been staying in our pajamas for the last week or so. This is the first time he's actually been dressed in something other than like pajamas. Yeah, Bubby. And the boys have been wearing pajamas. Yeah, hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, hi. Cohen's asleep, honey. He's asleep. Hey. Are you so handsome? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of work, huh? But anyways, we got his appointment, or we got him checked. He said that he looks completely perfect, as we knew you would, huh? And he's gaining weight good. He was, oh, oh, sorry. He was 7 pounds, 8 ounces at birth. And he was 6'13 when we left the hospital. And then when we had his jaundice appointment, I think he even went down a little bit more than that. I know, Baba. And now he's seven pounds, nine ounces. So we passed our birth weight. We're doing so good, huh, Bubby? Oh, 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 oh. He's got a really strong neck. Like a really strong neck. He's trying to go all these places. Look at him go. He's trying to go all these places. Come on. Let's go. Where are we going? Go. You tell me. Yeah, you tell me where we're going, huh? Well. I just tried to feed you. You didn't want none. <laughs> you want? Do you want some now? No. <laughs> okay, Bubba. Are you keeping him company? Yeah. No. What's he saying? What's he saying? Also, yes, Nuggie has a bruise on the side of his face. He ran into his door. But are you keeping him company? Yeah. What's he saying? He bonked his head. Yeah. Nuggie bonked his head. Oh, Nuggie. Yeah, on your door? Yeah. Yeah. I really don't know why he just did that, but he's been really, really, really good with Hudson. Um, he is obsessed with him. He loves him. He loves to hang out with him. He kisses him all the time. He asks me to hold him all the time. Cohen doesn't really care. If you guys have watched like the vlogs and we brought Cohen home, Jackson didn't really care. Um, and they're around like the same age as like, Cohen's around the same age as what Jackson would have been when we brought Cohen home. So it makes complete sense. But Jackson is obsessed. Are you giving him kisses? Hey, no, no. Like you turn the corn. Gentle, remember? Like you turn the corn. Like you turn the corn. You're rotten to the core. He's watching Descendants. So that's why he likes this movie. <laughs> yeah. He likes this movie. Do you think he likes it too? Yeah. Oh, gentle, gentle, gentle. We don't, we don't have to make him look somewhere. Gentle. That's not gentle, honey. He doesn't like. You gotta be nice, right? Take a, take a, take a, take. You tickling his. You just want to play with him. You just want to play with him? What you want? You want a snack? Can you say more? Can you say more? More, more. <laughs> Good job. What about you? 
More. <laughs> this is how he tells me he wants a snack. We never had locks on this door until um, they started locking each other in there. Yeah. Those are some, those are some guilty looking faces. Is it your brother? Yeah. Yeah? Coden doesn't really care so much. <laughs> Where's brother? Where's your brother? He just came. <laughs> Can you give kiss? Give Daddy. kiss. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, careful. Mm. Thank you. So nice. Say thank you. Mm. Oh my goodness. I am completely exhausted. The boys are now in bed. All of them, actually. The older boys are asleep 100% for the night. Hudson's back there chilling he's right here with his little <laughs> milk stains he's such a good baby you guys honestly it's so ridiculous he sleeps so good which honestly i'm super grateful for um all of our kids slept really good to be honest so i can't even like complain about that we had kids who slept very very good although last night i think i mentioned it already i don't even know but he was awake from like 2 30 3 30 into like 4 4 30 so I am exhausted because then I also had to be up super early. I feel like I already said this. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap while he's sleeping because I'm so freaking exhausted that I feel like I need one and I feel like I'm not gonna be able to like get obviously a full night's sleep because he still wakes up to eat, obviously. I feel like I'm just rambling now. My brain's literally mush from today. Literally such a stressful day for zero reason, but it's fine. It's okay. It'll be fine. Tomorrow can't be worse than this, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in our next video. Bye, guys.